Welcome back. It's time to get you caught up in some of the other sports around Delmarva, and there was a huge soccer matchup going on over in Berlin on Tuesday. The last two remaining undefeated teams were taking on as Stephen Decatur hosted Parkside. The Rams jumped out to a 1-0 lead here when Julia Veneer able to sneak that one by the goalie, but the Seahawks come right back. Peyton Van Kirk able to tie that thing up. Decatur takes it 2-1 the final. And on to Snow Hill, Emily Huey finds Sydney Hall for the goal as they were taking on North Dorchester, but North Dorchester's goalie Jessica Hardy here was able to fight the sun very hard. She had a tough, tough goal all day. Snow Hill was just kicking and kicking and kicking and <laughs> obviously she got the save oh, right there, but she didn't get enough saves and Snow Hill takes it eight to nothing the final. And Camp Pippen Lopen, Vikings on an impressive nine game winning streak in field hockey and it's because of plays like that. Vikings Rachel Hagen gets that one in over the Indians goalie in the first half, scored three to zero. Next up, Indian River with some great defense in action with their goalie Madison Thun, who throws herself on the floor to stop that ball from coming in. But Cape Penlopen remains undefeated as they defeat Indian River 12 to zero. And Pokemoke was take or looking to seal the Bayside South when they took on North Carolina on Monday. Mackenzie Beach up right here, able to send a dribbler home, helping build a huge Warriors lead. The Bulldogs trying to find an answer. Kendall Dixon fires a shot, but it is wide. Pocomoke just too much. They take it 16 to nothing. Steven Decatur hosted Y High and the Seahawks rolling when Ellen Barger comes up with a kill from the left side. Indians trying to fight back though. Robin joins. She would show a very soft touch over the net when she gets the little block to go for her team, but not enough for Y High as the Seahawks take it three to nothing. And Cape Volleyball was hosting Indian River. The Vikings already out in front here when Abigail Nima sends the attack to the left side. That is good for the kill. IR just trying to get their way back into this thing. Teller Button able to send that one to the back row. The Vikings can't handle it, but just too much Vikings on this day. They take it in three straight sets. And right next door, Y High taking on North Carolina. We start off the Bulldogs, Chris White with a penalty kick. That one goes cross cage all the way up top to the left. Indians back in it as Brett Miles sets himself up for the shot. But he misses, and North Carolina takes this one 3-0. to zero. Bennett was hosting the Eastern Warriors. The Warriors entered this game undefeated with the Bayside North already wrapped up, but Bennett showed no mercy on this day. Kevin Davis with the lower left corner makes it one to nothing. The Warriors were not going to go away easy, though. A great try by Avery Bryce over the crossbar, but how about Bennett winning 4 to nothing against undefeated Easton? And there was a good game going on as Mardella was taking on Cambridge South Dorchester early on in the first half. Cole Lambros shows the moves and buries the shot from just inside the box about 10 yards out. But back come the Vikings. Eric Hugh right here heads in the corner. That's good for the goal. Vikings end up taking that thing 2-1 the final. And don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, we have the, we're going to break down the Royals' domination of the Orioles. Former Royals pitcher Jeff Montgomery explains in a DSI exclusive when we return. Mick Butler, North Carolina Bulldog Soccer. You're watching Delmarva Sports Insider. 